Our exploration for economic mineral deposits involves a combination of boots on the ground hard grind and various techniques designed to give us what amounts to an x-ray view of hidden underlying rock structures. One of these techniques involves measuring the magnetism of the earth, which we did in a survey that covered the entirety of our Lost Cities Kutuku project area in 2017. Now, we're complementing that data set by measuring naturally occurring electrical fields using a technology called Mobile Magnetotellurics, or Mobile MT, developed by the Canadian company Expert Geophysics. Our magnetotellurics surveys aim to detect rocks that conduct electricity due to their high sulfide content, as this could show where a mineral deposit is located. Conversely, rocks that are poor conductors, possibly due to silica flooding, are commonly associated with epithermal deposits. Controlled source magnetotellurics, also known as CSAMT surveys, have been used successfully to map the range of conductivity of rocks related to porphyry and epithermal systems. The controlled source is a generator that pumps electricity into the ground at a known location with a known input power, and the extent to which the underlying rocks conduct electricity is measured by receivers driven or pegged into the soil. In a recent technological advancement, expert geophysics have developed a variation of the technique called Mobile Magnetotellurics, or Mobile MT, which is able to measure this conductivity from a passing helicopter. With this airborne method, we are no longer required to cut lines or transport a generator deep into rough jungle terrain, which represents a clear advantage over ground-based CSAMT surveys. Mobile MT relies on the fact that lightning creates electromagnetic energy fields that propagate around the world as plane waves bouncing between the ground and Earth's ionosphere. The energy fields induce electrical currents into the rocks below surface, and the extent to which this current is conducted can be measured by sensitive copper coils flown above the forest canopy. The goldfish, as the bright orange fiberglass shell is known, is towed by a helicopter along a pre-planned survey grid. Data collected by the goldfish is transmitted through the tow cable into specialized proprietary computers mounted in the helicopter. After processing the data, we are able to build a very detailed three-dimensional conductivity map of the Earth, down to a depth of approximately one to two kilometers below the surface, depending on the given objective in a particular area. This image of the subsurface is combined with existing exploration data such as field maps, stream sediment, soil and rock sample data, and magnetic geophysical data to define the shape and location of potential targets. The Mobile MT system measures not only electrical data, but also magnetic data. Stay tuned for our next video as we explore this aspect of Mobile MT.